Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the United States of America. And in this episode, we are back, baby. We are not letting not letting the Austrians regroup. This is part of the reason why I just pump up my economy so much. It means we can just maintain the pressure. Even after I lose some some battles for not being aggressive enough. Um, but otherwise. I think we are ready to get stuck in. The only thing I don't really need is artillery. I suppose I could... Having the heavy horse guard come in is good. Having rockets come in at some point is also good. Apart from that, this first army is very weak. This first, second army is also very weak. Same with the third army. And then the fourth army is where it starts to pick up. Oh no, another weak army, another weak army, another weak army. So it's only one strong force really right let's get stuck in we've had a good engagement last bat last time uh, i was not aggressive enough to win the battle within an hour chiefly because i was i was more interested in staying near the edges of the map so that when i sent troops away who had exhausted their ammunition and um, they would their replacements would arrive on station reasonably quickly. However, it does mean it meant the we did not manage to destroy their army entirely, which is unfortunate, but there we go. These things happen. Um, it's usually why I tend to try... I like being on the defensive in the large battles because you can just... You have to hold the ground for an hour. But uh, never mind. This is why you have stacks and stacks of troops, so that if you have one unfavorable engagement you can immediately follow it up with a counter strike so we probably don't need to worry about maximizing my artillery power as much as we did last time because we are going to try and be more aggressive because the enemy is in very is very low on numbers Okay, solid amount of infantry in front. There's a hill in front of us. We have to navigate, but that's okay. Something like this. Heavy cavalry on the left. Concentric dragoons on the right. General in the centre. I think they're charging us already. Well, let's make sure I can get my army past the um, past the rock in front of our line. So we have it. some of the reinforcements are coming in directly behind them. Some of them are coming in off to the one side. Get my howitzers to pick off their cavalry. You're attacking ground. My artillery can just round shot their way into the fight. We don't have to worry about chasing them down. So the 4th Continental Dragoon is going to put a volley into this unit of Freikorps cavalry. Make ready. Fire! Skirmishers hold, make ready, pour a volley to that Freikorps cavalry. It might bring my Cressier over onto the right flank. You men push forward. These men advance around the left. Artillery concentrate in the centre. Although this does feel very much like we're bullying. Artillery slamming. Shot slamming home. You fired your last volley. Form square. US Marines. 
attack the enemy cavalry. Artillery slamming home. Bring in the Republican Guard. There we go. So that's one force dealt with. Get all my foot artillery engaging the Clan Van Militia to our rear. Square here. He's able to engage the general's bodyguard. So killed one general. You go after this general. Both of you go after this unit. There he is. There's the Austrian gentleman. shooting him out of the saddle. Okay. Push forward, howitzers. Attack and attack. My elites advance. Sweep away the 21st Regiment of Militia. Get one gun to engage the Light Dragoons. Are you actually in range to engage the Dragoons? You are. The grenadiers are going to stand up and surprise this unit. Killed their officer. Light foot. Halted. Oh. One man made it to our lines before he was shot down. Go on, light dragoons. Devastating volley into the light horse. So this is a weak unit coming in, a weak army coming in to support, coming in from the left. Let's straddle our line to focus against this army coming in. Something like this, bring my Cusier up here. infantry try to play stakes but it might not be they might not be fast enough yeah they're charging straight in no not enough they're reloading they're loading and firing what are they doing place your stakes There we go, just put the stakes down. Skirmishers retreat to the safety of the Allied squares. You attack the Feljäger. The Lance has charged into my Light Dragoons, actually. So you guys are left. They're running out of the square towards the horse guards. And they, no, don't do that, you fools. Okay, let's divert two units up here. 
You can just keep engaging the Felt Jaeger. Push up the front. Black Dragoons, Cursier. The hussars are coming in again. Right, skirmishers, get back out on the flank. Wrong one. Artillery, who are you engaging? The all, all my foot artillery engage. Heavy horse guard artillery. Cross the air, smash those marines. Same with my dragoons. That, that cavalry's gonna get a downhill charge on my infantry, but that's okay. It's a Curacier guard. You pop square. Get this infantry above the on, on, on the top of the hill. There's my general. Let's get them to commit. Attack the Felt Jaeger because they're shooting us in the rear. So my Curiosity are bumped into their Marines. That killed a bunch. Eight Curiosity Airs. That volley. See that Curiosity Air guard's trapped in between my armies. Between my units. There we go, we've broken their heavy horse guard artillery. Okay, you man, there you go, get to the top of your hill. Horse artillery is advancing towards my light infantry. Both teams. General's going to come over here, ready to chase those gunners. Okay, get you guys out of formation. Get you guys out of formation. Out of formation, I said. These two units fall back. Light Dragoons fall back. My light infantry are attacking these horse artillery units. Where the hell are you going? You've got such a weird route. You attack that militia, you attack. Forward. Gunners just support the line. Okay, there's the enemy. There's the enemy. Um, good army. They're coming in from this side. Human step up. Skirmishers, step up. Okay, you guys get to the top of the hill. How it says trundle forward. Get one gun team to limber up. Two best one, make two limber up. One can stay back here and keep up the gunnery support. You guys, what are you doing? Okay, you've managed to run like that.
bring the guns up to the hill. Still haven't got a very good firing solution. Need to get up close and personal. Enemy artillery is engaging some shrapnel shots. Okay, Continental Dragoons, now is your time to shine. Provincial Cav is coming. Come, whoop, you want to come over here? Okay, our infantry support us coming in on the left. Kind of. Yeah, that'll do. guys formed up to bully the reinforcements that come in from that army. We're going to position to fire against the line infantry here. Oh, they're going to bully people now. It's horse grenadier guards coming in. Hold your square, Marines. Okay, I'll steamboat my cavalry in. The light foot can deploy more Jaeger. Push forward. Just keep moving up. Oh, you guys are getting ambushed. Light infantry attack the Hessian Jaeger. You men just hold your squares. I think that's the enemy units on the right done, done, largely done for. Lots of these units are going to collapse into the, they're going to run into the stakes, no doubt. Square, oh, light, big unit of light dragoons. Drop you guys both into square. No, nope, you guys drop into square. Legion run through this unit here. Come on, light dragoons, kill that enemy general. General in here? Yeah, General's right in the middle. That Jaeger unit might do enough. Infantry fall back through the square. Okay, those units may pull back. Kill that enemy general. Just keep killing them. Just clattering cavalry after cavalry after cavalry into us. Howitzers and limber. Switch to quick line shot. This gun team back here engage the light dragoons. artillery prepare for bombardment nothing's in range yet so the rocket artillery just needs to push forward a lot oh 
Oh, nicely. They've dismounted. Excellent. Okay, let's bring this infantry back. Heavy horse guard artillery. Let's get them over here. Form the line. Form the line. You fire it. Blast. Put a blast into that. Okay. Or not. To try run around them. General over here. Attack the light dragoons. A handful of militia killed one of my whole entire units. Oh, they've broken, 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 broken. Excellent. Guns unlimber. unit filling the gap. Where's my coffee? I made it, I haven't drank it yet. Another sh sharpshooter unit. Oh, okay. okay. Let's clatter you into these Hessian Jaeger. Let's ignore those units, that unit of shotgunners for now, because they are just in the way. Shrapnel sharp. Okay, light cavalry. Actually, get them to run up this way. There is an infantry unit moving up. It needs to move up with more speed. my cavalry into the fusiliers because we, we need to start outflanking these formations here. The artillery is coming in nicely. This gun team needs to fire round shot and aim at something like that instead. Deploy more like this. General, get up here. This isn't necessarily a great position for you. The blunderbuss shotgun is in on the flank of my grenadiers. Somebody's hitting us with shrapnel shot. Those gunners. They are not wrong. Not long for this world. My cavalry in the line. We horse artillery go for the grenadier guards. If we even can, we might not be able to. I have to go for a new garrison guards. Right, limber up. We're not any use there. Get my marines up.
Those two units charge the militia. Hold the corner of the line in, means these marines have to make their way over here. See, this is what I mean, is if they're so far away, it takes a long time for these units to actually get into a useful position. Line infantry get in here and attack the garrison guards. Long row from here. They need to get over here as well. Yeah, these infantry charge that unit, except for you, perhaps. Just get you out of Just you guys just run away. You attack the second regiment for you attack the, the, the dragoons, because they. They're always problematic because they cavalry just slows down my artillery fire. Trap no shot. Okay, let's take out their cavalry. Sharpshooters just hold. Garrison guards are coming in. Met. It looks like our fighting position is going to collapse. So this is kind of what happens when this is what kind of happens when you push um, away from the edge of the map and you've just got so many troops to deal with. Entire unit. This unit of line. Get up here. Throw you men into the mix against the horse grenadier guards. Let's maybe put you over here. Actually, this light infantry now just attack the enemy there. Enforcements are joining the battle from the flank. How oh, it's just have to try to deal with other units. Okay, Marines get up here. This is just not a great artillery position for us. Let's put your guns up here. Cease fire this artillery for the time being. Allow them to open fire on whatever they see fit. Then we'll get over here. should say. Ignore the horse grenadier guards. Too late, you cannot ignore them. <laughs> this gun team engage that unit of militia. This howitzer unit creep out of the way. Gunners just run. Okay, 
You don't see it? That's what we want to see. It's a full unit of Hussars. My, uh, my rocket artillery can start to engage things. More cuirassier. My general has fallen. As is somewhat unsurprising. Blast of the full unit of hussars out here. They're going to probably go for my gun team. You have, you, oh, you have to stay here. One cavalry team has to run in. Another cavalry team has to go over here. 24 pounder. Engage that howitzer unit. Yeah, we just, we just haven't got the units to spin around and attack. The troops on the flank. Tie them up. To be honest, they're kind of useless here as is. Okay, my gunners just run away. Light cavalry against heavy cavalry. Infantry run in. Horse guards are doing the job quite nicely. But yeah, this is exactly what I mean by your units get exhausted and your reinforcements are too far away. This happens and this doesn't really work. So this is kind of what I didn't want to happen first time round. I'd rather have <laughs> a loss when I was vulnerable and a win when I was stronger. This, this artillery unit engage. That unit of line infantry guards coming in. This gonna just keep shooting. If we can knock out the Hussars. Take out the Swiss Mountain Jaeger. We have a new general to take over command of the position. Okay, you men fall back to the guns. We're avoiding being charged by the 15th. See my heavy cavalry go for the flanking infantry. Ah, oh, you broke. You cowards, you broke for two units. Go on, Chris Yeager. Yeah. Get the Swiss Jaeger. Put artillery, just go back here. Killing the Grand Air Guards. Howitzers push up. Yeah, the infantry guards see what's happening, but it's too late. back you can join your friends on the flank the gunners on the hill excellent cursier just run through
Okay, fall back, long row for men. You men get a bit of respite, or they're gonna throw throw you into melee charges against the enemy center cavalry. Keep running around the back. New general advance against the weak unit of line infantry guards. Smash into them, cross the air, hit the Pride Corps, the Regiment of Horse, get in. Cross the air wavering. Okay, you can platter into the back of that unit of militia. by the blob. Gunner here can cease fire. These troops push up onto this flank. Rockets are laying into the line infantry guard. Cressier, get out of the way. A lot of this infantry has just been killed by a charging cavalry unit that's trying to chase after those fusiliers. Very cool, I'm going to try to charge my cavalry. They are more than welcome to. New men form up. Pretty sure my general is suing units there we go infantry ceasefire artillery ceasefire let's continue you try kill that sharpshooter you're gonna kill the last of that breakor I'm gonna try kill the line of the guard but the trouble is there's a lot of stakes up here so we do need to be careful if that sharpshooter stops to fight we got him though these line infantry guards are going to escape as well but we've managed to thin them out quite nicely Pyrrhic victory Pyrrhic in a way that None of my armies are probably in a great position to take advantage of this. But we've done a lot more damage to them. Drive them to the river! Forward. So Mr. Babington. From Ooh, there's a full there's army back here in Stuttgart. Back. Well, no time to be timid. Forward. Forward. Actually, can you put them under siege? Settlement you don't have to fight them, just bottle them up. They hide behind women's you met, you got Bug General's bodyguard. Sir. Got you a rapity. Orders. Your orders are to reconstitute your forces. You've got... You Well, really, it's artillery you need. You need... Gonna take a bit of time. But that's okay. Your humble servant. You might get hit by Mr. Schindler, but we that's what we've got Elroy Malloy back here for. He is providing cover. Brussels is okay. Amsterdam is at maximum capacity. You're replenishing, you're replenishing, you're in good strength, but you're fresh. 
you waiting on a unit to be recruited? Um, you could probably do with a foot artillery piece. Yeah, the garrison at Stuttgart is a scary thing if they commit that. But that's kind of why we want to keep the pressure up to the north as well. Roger Leverett can advance up into range of these chaps. But soon the southern, southern flank will be kept, will be secure. Then once we've destroyed... Ooh, one second ago. Sorry about that, guys. I was getting some clicking in my headset. And I started talking for 10 seconds. Then my mixer put up an advertisement. And uh, it's miserable. Okay, so this army has... Okay, you're getting that unit of mercenaries and you're recruiting two new units or two armies okay in which case we're going to create engelbert bentink let's get well let's just just keep the uh keep the recruitment going recruit all your uh, heavy horse guard artillery is not fully exhausted. Great. Okay, skirmishers. Light infantry, mercenaries. Uh, no, not. Uh, yeah, let's get some mercenaries. We're not going to run out of stuff yet. A mercenary, an engineer, and a garrison guard. Then in Edinburgh, who's just recruiting garrison guards. Recruit a bunch of infantry plus cuirassier, regiment of force, lancer guards, cuirassier. Cool. Let's upgrade, upgrade Liverpool. Uh, this is part of the reason. Part of the problem is that we are still having to recruit all the way back at Lisbon. Our demand for troops is large. If you, okay, you, your roads are being upgraded. That's good. Make ready. Got a lot of units that need reinforcement. It's everybody though, really. Make sure all these units are heading towards the dangerous part of the front. Okay, six grand. Back to the Americas. Yeah, How's sir. it going over here? Sir. A new Continental Army is being built. I wonder if you have any more elite troops. Now I've suffered some damages. A provincial Scout Unit. A Hessian Line Unit. Something like that. Cool. And down here, actually, does Louisiana not have? Well, they don't have upgraded roads. I'm sure I was recruiting artillery for you. Yes, I was. Sadly, Noel Compton, you've been here, been with us for a while. It's the end of you. Okay, let's hit and turn. Oh, I forgot everything in India. Oh, well. Things are moving up. Oh, like that army there. Down towards Katak. Ugh. In a way, though, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if they did capture it. Because it'd mean the army would be bottled up in one place and I could destroy it. But still, I think in India we're kind of suffering like we are in the US, in the um, in Europe at the minute, where we just have got lots of stuff to do. Yeah, the Stuttgart garrison's pushed out. If we hit them with the right army, we could destroy them. So we do have lots of, a good amount of strength to the north. Yeah, what I'm going to do is because this usually gets bogged down quite badly, I'm going to chop recording. So see you in a second, everyone. In an instant.
interesting twist. This captain thinks he can destroy this force under Gerard Arga. Let's try. Two units of of uh, dragoons plus a unit of infantry. Granted, our army is quite weak, um, but that is not that's not going to be enough. They're not going to be. That's not going to be enough to. Uh, clear us out, especially once I deploy my guns in the line, which I am going to. Okay, so, first of all, let's get everybody back. Okay, let's deploy two units there. Set of guns. Two units there. Set of guns. Two units there. Set of guns. Units and skirmishes on the right flank. Why are you on spreading out? It's probably because you're different sizes, I guess. Limber, rockets, set up and ready to fire. Guns fire shrapnel shot and aim at one cavalry unit. Howitz is aimed by a quick climb at the other cavalry unit. <laughs> Everybody aim at that last unit. Okay, rockets, what are you going to do? You're aiming at the infantry now as well. Come on, infantry, this whole operation was your idea. Shrapnel coming in. Just clipped the top. That hit the centre of the line. Get all my guns to re engage the dragoons. Howitzers focuses on the infantry still. Just because my guns reload a bit quicker. See, the 15th Regiment, they were only broken, not shattered. Rocket artillery away. They don't do a huge amount of damage. But they do a good amount of damage. Go skirmishes are firing. Dragoons are broken, shattered. Artillery, all of you cease fire. Mon General. Mon General, commit. Teach these Austrians what it means to fight against the United States of America. Maybe we're killing Hitler's great 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 grandfather or something. You might not kill them just because you've not got very many cavalry, but you will be <laughs> just still do damage. Just punish them. Punish the AI of thinking this was a good idea. Out of 46. Yeah, we're cutting individual people open. Seven. Now we're into the me the main core. Well, that's the enemy commander. Nine left. You hey, we might actually get that. Oh no, they made a beeline for the edge at the last minute. Ah, they escaped, but with great, great loss of life. Yeah, we lost one man. They lost three hundred. So they killed one guy with that volley from the. Um, from the Dragoons. The Austrians have split this army up into two. That's the only main thing that happened. I mean, they must have a death wish. Or maybe they're trying to reset the replenishment counters, perhaps. 
No, they didn't reset. They still count. You just get replenished less of them. As, the way it works, it works. I think if you had 100 guys and you wanted to replenish to 225, you set that going. Then if you lose 50 guys, say, you're down to 50, but you still get the 125 you originally wanted. So you'd be up to 175. Although this one may end up being a bit more of a... I can't, get, I, don't, well, I can't get all my guns in the way I could before, but I don't really need to. Something like that. Blunderbuss shotgunners and foot Jaeger. Now it's just focus on the foot Jaeger. We're not going to chase these guys down. These guys just deserve to be punished. Oh, I accidentally. Yeah, I did. Unlimbered up my guns. Unlimber these. Blunderbuss shotgun is suddenly realizing, oh no, this is not a good idea, is it? You no, know, it is not. They're just gonna hold. Just blast them. Killed their general. Yes. Why is the AI thinking this is a good idea? Why? I mean, I'd rather have them send penny packet troops away against me, but yeah, these two units are both. But the units west side of the river are both um, blockaded. We probably want to bring this army from the north round to hit these guys. Oh, one thing I did notice is the Austrian rebels. There were some rebels in their territory, and they're like red, white, red Austrian flags. So hopefully we can keep stirring the pot there. You're going to go raiding. That's great. I don't mind you raiding, as long as you're not going near the front. Stacking up inside Stuttgart proper. But yeah, I think we now need to... Start pushing forward because we've got we've got them on the run. I think once we take if we take Stuttgart, well we're in spitting distance of Munich, and then it's on to Austria. <laughs> then our foothold in the south, that is still just a foothold. Um, no, oh, there's another unit up on the border of the Netherlands up here. And so we need to take out Hanover. We, they are just using that as a a convenient point. And the Prussians are traitorous dogs as well, because they're using Prussian territory to get to Hanover. Oh well, I'm going to chop the recording here and bring goes back, so see you in a second. So this is really interesting. The Austrian rebels have succeeded in capturing the capital. They've sent an army down here to attack our fort, and they are demanding we surrender. With one unit! They demand an entire fort surrender. No! <laughs> like, no. I'm not going to surrender. Look, that, is that, that might be the first time ever in like 2,000 hours of playing Empire Total War that I have ever been asked to surrender. That's quite fun. Yeah, I think the Austrians, the, Rush, the, the Prussians do want to try and kill me. They are very incentivized to try kill me. They they just keep sending masses of troops towards the areas in which I am weakest. So what's Naples and Sicily going to do? 
Alright, let's use the Navy. So now the Marathas might cause us some trouble because we didn't actually we missed a turn to actually do stuff against them. They're sending lots of armies out against us. Their flat outflank at Kutak may be effective. It is going to be effective. Um, I'm just going to water that. Not so bothered about that. Because we will just siege their... Um, we will just siege the city. But yeah, that's that's what happens in these late game campaigns. You take your eye off the ball for a minute and something bad happens. Okay, we need to attack lots of these armies in the field. I'm still going to put Akbarabad under siege from the from an army in the northeast. Looks like we are going to get another chuggy turn from the Ottomans. So I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back. And we are back. Although it looks like now Russia's adding, uh, <laughs> adding to the length of the end turn phase. By the sounds of it, but by the looks of it, they've invaded Iran. There were Russian troops scamping around the southern coast uh, in the Persian Gulf. So, be interesting to see what they do there. Right. So the army to the the army that invaded Kutak. I think if we just swing our troops back and just lay siege to the city again, they will probably. Like, if we just do this, like we could attack the city. But I just bring you guys back as well, and effectively invite the um, the Marathas to, to do battle in this region. That will be fine. Lots of raids, we're not really worried about that. Carissa will deal with that. So we're building walls... Just keep the recruitment going of infantry in Ahmedabad, because then we can push out of this. Ahmadnagar. They can handle being left alone, so you push up to the road, push up to the bridge. Christian Veer. Replenish and try and make your way to this crossing. Let's replenish the tea plantation. Okay, so you... Abraham Pitt. Okay, let's get you in here and attacking one of these Maratha armies. Let's get them pushed back northward. Then we'll attack across the river and attack the army north of Hindustan. Just keep, just keep pushing them back. Keep maintaining that pressure. Ideally, we want to try and build up some of our exposed territories, build up our garrisons just so they don't fall quite so easily once our main army is committed elsewhere. You must either conquer and rule. Okay. Guns at the top of the hill, but they're going to be cracked forward. Strong infantry line is ideal for dealing with the Marathas. Group my skirmishers on one flank, group my melee infantry behind them in case the cavalry try anything. It means the bulk of our cavalry can go on the left. Howitzers need to chuck quick line just because the Marathas send so many troops at us, you need to just keep chucking quick line at them. really worried about who we engage yet even the even the um, cavalry we're not bothered about them yet we've not got so many to deal with that we need to worry about um, worry, we don't need to worry about ammo conservation so here comes the enemy cavalry As anticipated. Make 
this infantry unit forms square. No. Tribal auxiliary just to open fire. Okay, let's anchor our flanks a little bit better. Your lancers are coming in. The diary horsemen, the lancers. Okay, let's keep the left flank going. Bring our Gomish cavalry back over here. So the lancers are going to get pounded to hell and back. Chamfer this corner back. My guns just to blast the centre of shrapnel. Okay, they are shattered. Let's keep pushing my right flank forward. The cavalry is committing, I can see it. Fortunately, they'll have shot into their own guys quite a lot. Howitzers, just keep hammering these troops to our front. Committing two units to fire it into the enemy cavalry. Bring one unit back to get involved in the melee. These units shuffle across. Take control of the high ground. Try to get our melee troops across. This unit actually get in here and start shooting at the Pindari horsemen. Howitzers engage, the dervishes on the left flank, and the mercenaries. My crossier going down fast. Go on, man. Load and fire at the Pindari horsemen, don't engage. Don't engage the combat. Let's rotate this unit back left. Winning slightly, winning slightly, winning slightly. Curiosier are getting upset. begin securing the left flank artillery begin trying to round shot their 12 pound of foot there we go native or auxiliary commit infantry get up here fill in the gap Native auxiliary run around the flank. Lots of friendly fire there. Howitzers switch to round shot, keep dropping shells onto the general's bodyguard. Extricate the line infantry so they can focus on engaging the enemy general. Going 
native auxiliary keep charging down the hill to protect your comrades regiment of horse position so your regiment of horse commit into the fight looks like everybody on this flank destroyed really let's commit my general as well Okay, just go chase him down. Artillery, well, every artillery except the howitzers cease fire. No, don't engage. Don't shoot in the back. Don't shoot these guys. These guys have beat his infantry. Too bad it looks like we're gonna get actually we will be able to get the general. Mount to try auxiliary get in here. The you men gang up on the dervishes. Tribe Auxiliary, kill that general. Got him. Okay, good. Now, everybody, help the general with pathfinding. Oh, yeah, we got him. We got him good. Still, wasn't it? Wasn't a super good win, I admit. Especially when they've run it that way. In a way, it makes sense because they had to go around our army, but it's just unfortunate because it means that we have to commit troops like. Instead of advancing forward, you need to come south and then hit them. And we're going to have to do it manually because we don't want to bring in this army. We want to, we're going to have to fight it manually just so that we limit damage to one army so the other army near Hindustan can march north and engage the enemy there. But let's, come on, let's get, get to it, push them back. Okay, let's do what we did last time. And drop some of the guns in the line. Although artillery in the trees is not going to work. Because the shrapnel shot bursts when it gets into proximity with the trees. So these gunners, there's not really any good... Oh, they could go over here, kind of. Cavalry on either flank, ish. Howitzers focus on the lancers. Nice artillery unit hit the Pindari horseman unit with shrapnel shot. The lancers are bravely charging in. it to the line well they made it to the line but and the guns at the back focus on that Pindari horseman unit to the rear well, you guys can canister shot 
We just want to get rid of their cavalry so that when we commit our cavalry to chase them down and kill them, nobody is there to oppose us. So let's move our cavalry detachments forward. Get you guys to actually commit against the dervishes. There we go. Charge. 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 That is everybody. We are going to continue. Let's just let the dervishes get shot to bits. And commit. There you go. You annihilate them. Okay, when you help the general attack his unit. Suit of armed peasantry. Kill them! Kill them all! Good, 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 good. 19 left. They should all be in that little cluster. 3, 2, 1. Got him. You failed to chase down the last four guys. There's one. There he is. He's turned to fight the brave man. Not brave enough, it appears. Excellent. So you've just been killed. Make ready. March. So I don't know if you're Thank able you to forward. support. You attack Rayban Wal Walwaka. Um, but looking at the timer, it's probably time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the USA. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>